Hey, Faulkner family. Today we're going to hear from Andrew Kingsley, and I got to thank you, Andrew. Thanks for helping us uh, take care of chapel uh, this semester. So what would you like to share with our Faulkner family? I just wish I had more time. How many times do you think you've said that throughout your college career? You know, you get so busy with things on campus, with your clubs, with your different events, with your athletics, with everything that goes on, sometimes it's really easy to lose focus on the things that really matter. And I think that now, as we're in this period of social distancing, I wonder how we view that thought of, I wish I had more time. Now, this is a thought that I want to share with you today that's relevant really any time during college, but I think especially under our current circumstances. In Ephesians chapter 5, Paul says, Look carefully how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Do not be ignorant, basically, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And when you guys are on campus, it's your faith looks one way, right? Your time management looks one way when you're here on campus, when there's so many things for you to be doing, so many opportunities for your academic growth, and more importantly, for your spiritual growth. And now a lot of those opportunities have moved into a different format, and it's put a little more responsibility on us as individuals. Now, instead of just walking across campus or walking across the parking lot to another devotional, to another class, to another opportunity for your betterment, now we're seeking them out individually. So I would like to challenge all of us to think about, during this time, what does the will of the Lord look like for me in this kind of time? What might my faith look like when I'm at home? I think we need to be taking full advantage, full opportunity, those of us that are blessed to keep our health during this time. Use this time, think about your family relationships that you can build. Think about the things that if you are blessed and privileged with the ability to stay home in your house for these next few weeks, how can you be helping the people in your community? What really would be the absolute best use of your time? And I pray that we will all work together in strengthening our communities wherever we are during this break.